Welcome to Body Solutions, where total physical fitness is directed by physical therapists. I'm going to talk about common elbow injuries today that occur as a result of repetitive use. These are the most common types of injuries that we experience, and it's typically not from lifting something too heavy. It's going to be from working on the computer repeatedly, having your wrist extended, um, that engages the muscles here lightly, just a little bit, but you know, for hours and hours at a time, or manipulating a mouse. Uh, people who often often work at the uh, computer will have sort of elbow pain right here. Okay, so if you put your finger right on the point of the elbow and poke around right here, you might find that you might have some pain there. Another way to detect if you have this this uh, lateral epicondylitis, also known as tennis elbow, is if you sort of uh, resist like you're trying to bring your wrist up or extend and you resist with the other hand. And if you have some pain right there, it, you probably have a little bit of uh, tendonitis there. Uh, another common elbow injury is from people who grip things repeatedly throughout the day, right? Any kind of gripping, because all of those muscles originate right in that point at the elbow. Same thing, if you push there, you might find that it's tender. So I always tell people it's a good rule of thumb if you work with your hands uh, to just kind of push on those spots to see. If they are tender and you dress it early, you can prevent the need to have uh, physical therapy so you don't have to come in for treatment. Um, some simple stretches like this, bringing the wrist straight down and turning it slightly. So think of it as if you're looking at your hand and it's your right hand, bringing it straight down will be 6 o'clock, turning it to the 5 or 4.30 position. You'll feel a stretch right along the forearm here. You want to hold that to a point where you feel stretch but no pain. That's very important. If you try to stretch it and it just hurts, and you feel pain before stretch, then you really need to seek medical treatment. That means it's pretty inflamed. But if you can get a stretch without pain, hold it in that position uh, for 30 seconds ideally, and then relax. And gently try to do that frequently throughout the day. You can stretch these muscles by flipping the arm up and going this way. Same thing, turning to about the five o'clock position to stretch these muscles. By putting slight tension through those muscles, the tension helps the healing tissues uh, align properly. I like to use the analogy of uh, a box of toothpicks, right? So if you dump a box of toothpicks down, it's just random, that's sort of like those baby cells coming to the area trying to help it heal. You need to tell those cells and those you know pieces of toothpicks um, where to go. So by putting tension through the tissues, that's the signal the mechanical process of getting those toothpicks that's all random to line up properly to form a piece of functional like a board and now it's going to help the, uh, the, the tendons heal strong and functional so again uh, these are the, the common types of elbow injuries you know tendonitis and the lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow or medial epicondylitis which is typically typically known as golfers elbow so try to address it early check your elbows to see if you have any pain if you've already been in pain for a long time and it's pretty inflamed and you've tried things like Advil, you've tried icing and it's persisting, you definitely want it to be checked out because if this tendonitis will last for more than three months, now you run the risk of getting what's called a tendinosis and that's a much bigger problem that we'll talk about in the tendinosis section.